A mine truck engine is a beast. The most powerful ones pack a brawny 24 cylinders, generating 4,200 horsepower. Compare that to 200 horsepower for a mid-sized car with six cylinders. But when they start to show the strain, it's time for a total rebuild. After about 20,000 hours of hauling heavy rock, it's time for renewal. Mine truck engines are routinely rebuilt, not just once, but numerous times. It's cheaper than buying a new engine, and it saves precious resources. Each rebuild is a massive undertaking. Virtually every component of this diesel engine will be remanufactured or replaced. As the team dismantles it, they inspect each part for wear and tear. They take it down to the immense crankshaft, the heart of this mine truck engine. With the crankshaft removed, they pull the lengthy camshaft out of the cylinder block. With the engine now in pieces, they clean every part that's salvageable, including the huge cylinder block. A couple of hours soaking in a hot sodium phosphate solution removes the grease and exposes the bare metal. Any imperfections are now more apparent. Using a depth gauge, a technician maps out flaws like this crack. It will need to be filled and he makes a note of it. Next, a high-speed milling tool carves off a thin layer of the steel, taking the cylinder block's finish from grimy gray to bright and shiny. It also smooths away any unevenness to create a uniform surface for sealing gaskets around the cylinders later. After the intensive machining, the cylinder block looks like new. It's back to the crankshaft now. It too has undergone an extensive cleaning. Machinery grinds the outside diameter to a precise tolerance, equivalent to 1 20th of a human hair. This will allow new, thicker bearings to fit to it. The team clamps weights to the machined crankshaft. These weights mimic the load of engine parts like pistons and rods, as they now balance this critical part. The crankshaft rotates, and sensors detect vibrations and pinpoint the problem. After more grinding in these locations, they test it again to confirm the crankshaft is balanced. Back to the camshaft now. A member of the crew uses a black marker to highlight wear patterns. A grinder evens out the wear and it also machines the profile of each lobe as it follows a metal camshaft master. The black marker lines vanish as the wear lines are smoothed and the profile of the camshaft is improved. A major cleanup also transforms the rods that connect the piston to the crankshaft. A technician then places the rod in a special honing machine and activates it. Four arms with gritty ends grind the inside of the rod head as the technician moves the rod back and forth. This sizes the inner diameter to enable the rod to fit to the other revamped parts. Once all the parts have been cleaned and machined, the engine is ready for reassembly. Using a crane, a technician lowers the crankshaft back into the cylinder block. He secures the crankshaft at one end with a metal bracket called a main cap. There are actually nine main caps in total. He gives the crankshaft a spin to confirm that it rotates freely before installing the rest. With a piston now attached to one end of a connecting rod, he slides the other end into a slot in the cylinder block. This particular engine is a 16-cylinder one. It's considered mid-size for mining trucks. Once the gaskets have been fixed to the cylinder block, they bolt the cylinder heads to it. There are hundreds of parts in one of these monster engines, and it takes 700 person hours for one rebuild. With this mine truck engine now fully assembled, they hook it up to a dynamometer to measure engine performance. They run it full tilt to confirm that it's firing on all cylinders and performing to the max. This rebuilt mine truck engine is ready to go back into service. Strong and heavily built, this 9-ton diesel engine should pull its own weight and then some.
Music